Hi everyone, welcome back. If you've clicked on this video, it's because you're wanting to see a eye tutorial for the MUA Undress Me Too palette. Undress Me Too palette, so T double O palette, not the number two. And uh, this is, uh, my understanding, is a dupe for the Urban Decay Naked 2. Now, I don't own that, so I can't compare, um, but apparently that's what it is. And um, I've done an eye look using this. Um, I hope you do enjoy it. All the other products I've got on my face, I will list in the description bar, because this tutorial is just going to be the eye look. Um, do excuse the wet hair throughout the video, but um, I washed it this morning, and if you watched my hair care video, which I'll link in the description bar as well, um, then uh, you'll know that I I don't blow dry it and I don't like heat products on my hair so I let my hair do what it wants it was washed this morning and it was really damp throughout the video so do excuse that and um, this is the finished eye look and um, it's sort of a everyday cool toned smoky eye look um, I haven't uh, catered it specifically to hooded eyes but I think you know if you do have hooded eyes you might find this tutorial helpful because I have hooded eyes and so I've had to work around using um, eyeshadows um, on hooded eyes so if you'd like to see how I achieve this look please keep watching okay so this is the part where you prime your eyelids with whatever primer you have of choice and I'm using the lightest colour in the palette with my flawless concealer elf brush and just dusting that loosely over the crease area to make blending easier and that's for this matte colour with my MAC 217 dupe brush from China and I'm just using this brush to add definition in the crease again I'm just going quite messily from inner to outer corner because it's not a dark colour or a very pigmented colour really and I'm just making sure that I'm getting it all over the crease area and now I'm going to go in with this lovely shimmery sort of sheen of a cool toned colour with my e.l.f. professional eyeshadow brush and I'm just packing that onto my eyelids. Now the colour payoff and intensity for the price on these eyeshadows is really really good. I also found that this particular look um, and some other looks created with this one and the original palette just lasted all day. And I'm just using my 217 MAC dupe brush from China to blend the two colours together. And then the second darkest shade in the palette I'm using next, which has some shimmer in it, but I still feel it works really well for definition in the crease. And I'm just using that slightly below the original MAC colour and more localised, putting most of the colour in the outer corner and bringing about two thirds of the way in. And I'm making sure I'm always touching the brush first to the area where I want the colour to be darkest. And then I'm going in with the darkest colour of the palette, which is the matte black on an e.l.f. smudge brush, which is a lot smaller. And I'm just using that to define my outer V. Though for us hooded eye, hooded eye girls, this is more like a reverse 7 shape, which I've always done, but I heard the, the, the term coined in Nisha's channel, which is Sugar Puff and Fluff, and I really loved it. I'll link her in the description bar. And then I'm just going for the same colour and the same brush and just putting that right close to the lower lash line. And then I'm going in with that matte colour that we originally used in the crease and I'm just using that on an e.l.f. contour brush and I'm going to be buffing out the lower lash line with this. Then I'm going in with that slightly more shimmery lighter colour and the same contour brush to do my inner corner highlight and then the original first lightest colour in the palette which I think is the most matte of the highlighter colours I'm using on my elf brush to highlight my brow bone then I'm going in with Max Utility Grey PowerPoint eye pencil and I'm just putting that quite close to the lash line on my upper lashes I bring it about three quarters of the way in and mascara time I do take quite a bit of time to put my mascara on so I have sped this up for you but I also wanted to show you the process as much as possible Do make sure that you do let your mascara dry a little bit between coats if you are doing several coats like me. And this is the finished look. 
So you can put some coal eye pencil on the waterline if you want to. I haven't in this one because it's an everyday look and I didn't feel particularly tired or red in the eye. And um, I'll be linking in the description bar everything else I used on my face. Take care till next time. Bye!